Welcome back to the Coleman Farm YouTube channel. My name's Josh. This is my Peterbilt 362 cab over. We are gonna be doing a little wet sanding and polishing today. Gonna get this thing looking much better than what it is already. And uh, we got a few things that uh, I've been starting to polish up and get back on there. Got my horns, got some lights. But, uh, I'm sorry, not lights. I haven't put the lights on. The uh, mirrors. So, things are starting to come together. Starting to look more and more like a truck every day. And getting closer to getting back on the road. So, let's go ahead and uh, get after wet sanding and polishing. So it's been a few few days, a couple weeks actually, uh, since I painted this. And a few things that uh, after letting it dry and cure a little bit, figured out that uh, I got a few problem spots that we need to correct with the polishing. Um, this passenger side corner is where I ended. So I started on the back, worked my way all the way around, and then ended right here on the corner. Uh, when I hit the corner, the overspray back onto the back side of the cab, as you can see, I don't know if you can get it in the video. Yeah, I see. It's all nice and shiny uh, right here on the corner, but then once we hit the back panel, got some overspray here. So this part is a little duller um, than the rest. So we're gonna have to polish this out to get that shine to come back. This was a single stage PPNG um, Omaha orange that we painted on the truck. Uh, for the most part, it looks very glossy, um, very nice. There is a little bit of orange peel uh, in it. So getting a little bit of the uh, sanding done up to two or 3,000, I think, with the polishing should knock all that stuff out pretty well, pretty much. Um, so, but there was a couple other little spots too. Um, that I did get a little bit of a run off of uh, this vent. Um, so wasn't too bad for the most part um, of issues. Um, there was that other front door that I'll have to wet sand and polish out and do a little bit of touch up. Um, but overall, not too bad. Gonna start out up top here and do a little test piece on the top and you can kind of see it's nice and glossy looking but in the glare you can see the the orange peel there so we're gonna try and knock that out today and uh, get this thing looking much nicer I did get a little ahead of myself and got excited polished up the horns and put those on um, which I'll show you here in a little bit of what those look like All right, so I decided I'm going to go ahead and polish up my horns and put those on. So I feel like I got one thing checked off my box today that I feel like I'm moving forward on the truck and not 10 steps backwards. Um, just kinda doing what I can today. It's uh, supposed to be 90 degrees again and still really hot. So, just gonna get these back on and then maybe get to uh, my cab lights. Um, Cause the uh, roof came out really nice. It's the uh, back side of this truck that got some good orange peel in it. Um, and then uh, touch up some spots on the sides and front. But overall, it looks pretty good. So, We'll uh, get these nice horns polished up, looking good again, put them back on the truck. And then at least it'll start looking like it's coming back together. 
So, we'll uh, get to polishing. So, this uh, looking pretty good. Inside polishing out nice. I uh, figured that it'd be a lot easier to uh, polish this out on the uh, ground here than it would be to bolt it back on the truck. So, overall, looks pretty good. Um, if you guys are wondering what I'm using, this is the Zephyr Pro 40 um, metal polish. I like using their uh, cutting uh, wheels and compounds for polishing out the uh, tanks and wheels. So, they, uh, their stuff's been pretty good for me. I have no complaints. Um, used it on my other Peterbilt and everything polished out real nice. Um, I mean, I feel like most of uh, all the companies are probably using similar products. Uh, one may be better over the other. I'm not sponsored by anybody. Uh, this is just something I saw someone use. I tried it out for myself and it's actually worked out pretty good for me in polishing up my trucks. So um, they do have a polishing kit you can buy like off Amazon that seems to be, or you can actually get it off their website too. Um, I always just check both places and just buy the one that's cheaper at the time or whatever's on sale. But the, uh, one kit does come with the uh, cutting compounds for the grinder or polisher and with the wheels and bars and then uh, it comes with the bottle of this. Some of them I think just are polishing kits with the wheels. So I always get the one with the metal polish and then they actually have a cleaner that you can buy which is over on the other side of my shop. Um, the cleaner you can use in between each bar that you're using so uh, I think eventually I'll be doing that when I get to the tanks and um, the battery box and the wheels uh, and then this deck plate um, I think eventually I'll change out this deck plate because it's not anything you know to scream about um, I'm thinking about it'd be really cool is to have a flush deck plate with the toolbox inside um, can never have enough storage and space and then maybe even switching out one of these uh, the side steps here and putting one of the step toolboxes because um, find myself every day buying more and more things to take with me on the road and uh, you know always want to be prepared or at least I do because um, Get out here in the middle of nowhere in some of these places and you're on your own so it's always nice to have pretty much everything you can do to work on your own truck by yourself but looks like i almost got one horn done and then uh get the other one done and we'll be at least able to bolt something back on the truck and feel accomplished all right all right Got the horns back on. Looks good. Nice and shiny. See what else I can get put back on here. Maybe some lights. What my mirrors? I don't know. Let's go back out. We'll see. So after getting this nice paint job done, it's like the last thing I want to do is Put some sandpaper to it but I know it's gonna look a lot better but being a first-time painter and everything never uh, want to do more work if I don't have to but definitely think it's gonna make a big difference so oh yeah as soon as I start to see this um, you can see all the, uh, I don't know if you can see it in that spot, but get this uh, a little more wet. 
Yeah, I can see all the, the bumps. It's kind of just like when I was block sanding. Originally, all the paint, or er, primer. It's really interesting, the things that you can see now, it's like, oh, there's a little dirt speck. Overall, it shot pretty nice and clean in that uh, inflatable paint booth, which the company has since reached out to me and uh, wanted me to do test out some of their other accessories for the paint booth they said I needed. Um, so we will, they said they just shipped those out today. So we'll see when that comes in, show you guys some other things that you can get for the paint booth. This isn't too bad. It's actually uh, coming. I feel like the uh, orange peel is coming off pretty quick. Feeling pretty smooth now already. Now we're going to get into the exciting part polishing. Peterbilt showed up. And they brought me my rubber pieces that are going to go on the corners here, um, right behind my vertical uprights. So, I can put those on now. Um, you guys are wondering, the gasket um, number, I'll put in the uh, comments or, just, or a description down below. But uh, these forgot um these vertical pieces here because i did actually didn't have one behind one of these metal um pieces when i took it off i only had one so it kind of slipped my mind um but these window seal it says seal window frame um handle oh no sorry seal window frame the number is 101 p dash or slash two zero dash one one two, four, six. And again, I'll put that, these part numbers down below if you need these, but they came out to, they're $78 a piece for a little piece of rubber. Um, so total is a uh, 156 plus tax, like 168 bucks for two little rubber pieces. But it'll okay, seal my window up and finish, I can finish this stuff off. I'm trying to uh, polish these up first. They, uh, they had some um, the black urethane on them, so uh, I was scraping that off and get to polishing that later. But let's get back to uh, buffing this paint out. So I watched a bunch of videos on the uh, buffing, cut and buff. So hopefully I can do it right. Uh, some of the guys recommended putting spots, putting some on the pad. Spread it around. Nah, it's all gonna work out eventually. But here goes nothing. Now that's only the first step in it, but not sure if you can see. I'm only working up to the first rivet here. So definitely looks more orange peely over there. It's starting to smooth out over here. So I'll go ahead and try the next compound and see if that makes a difference. All right, so now 
We got our finishing compound. Let's try this out, see how it looks, and uh, reassess if we want to keep going or change up what we're doing. This one says to run on a medium. So that'll probably be in the middle here, three. So I got my foam pad for this one. Let's see how this does. thinking I gotta do some more because it does look shiny in some spots but then some of it looks like it needs more probably compound to be done on it thinking maybe I'm going a little too fast I mean it feels real smooth but it's just not bringing the gloss back up so we will keep going all right, so I took another pass at everything, and this is looking much, much better. I was just a little nervous about pushing too hard with this, and I didn't really, I was just kind of letting the tool do the work, which gave it a little bit more pressure. Um, I hit it back with the compound again, and then hit it again with the uh, polish, and it's definitely looking a lot more shinier, and uh looking a lot better so the rest of this um kind of have a better idea and feel this was again just the roof so not too concerned about it i was actually even contemplating not even doing the roof and leaving it because it seemed pretty good to me um but figured i should probably try it out on the roof first before i tried to do anything where everyone can see so um this is looking much better i'm happier with this i'm gonna finish out a little bit and move on and uh, start getting the rest of this cab polished out. Oh, it feels good. Feels so good. The windshield, check. Take that off my list. The uh, paint, it is cut and buff for now. Gonna wait till the uh, 60 day mark before I do any kind of waxing and sealing it up, but uh, it's looking pretty good. Um, I did say I was gonna show you guys um, what it looks like after, I mean, shiny so i'm happy with that um there there definitely is some spots that uh could look better and buffed out some more um I do have a couple of little nibs that uh i need to polish up some more but i mean shiny i like it uh, i'm pretty happy with how it turned out um so i'm gonna keep uh working on it and hopefully um we'll see if the uh steer tires get here in the next week and uh we get those in we can get the uh one of the front tires needs to get kicked to the rear because i have a cracked rim back there so i'll kick one of these bud wheels back there and uh swap out the uh rear tire onto that new that rim because uh we got some New rims for the front. Um, what else? Drop buyers there should be going on next. Uh, I'm gonna pull out the uh, interior um, headliner and uh, pull that stuff out because 
I mean, you've been seeing it in the videos. It's just been hanging down here for a while. Um, I'm gonna take out that brown uh, in the front at least and go to like a black, um, something that won't, something that'll absorb the light and won't reflect so much up there. Um, and maybe like a black suede or something. I don't know. The back, uh, I think has gotten changed out at some point because it's all black. Uh, but I've seen some original pictures where it still had that beige brown interior all the way around inside. So um, I was originally thinking doing like a black and orange interior, but I'm kind of liking the brown. Um, it does have the doors um, that's painted brown. Uh, it's got the brown seat. <laughs> But it's got the light brown on the uh, above the passenger seat and driver's seat with the uh, brown um, blackout curtain, brown carpet on the door panels and everything. So, um, and then over the um, center there is brown leather. Um, so, I don't know. I'm going to pull it out and figure out something better. But what that is yet, I don't know. Um, maybe think of more cowboy style, maybe some hide, rawhide or something in there. Um, but after looking at a lot of different options, talking to a few people, nobody does cab overs or whatever. So I think I'm just gonna do it myself. I mean, I've already painted it myself. I've already changed out a lot of parts on here myself. So I'm uh, definitely gonna just Go ahead it and do the uh, upholstery myself too. Um, I uh, think I can do that. And then what other stuff I want to do later on is trick out my dash and do some custom uh, tropical hardwoods for the dash. Make it really pop. Um, I do have a wood shop. I do sawmill my own lumber and or saw my own lumber, not saw mill it. Um, but I mill up all my own lumber, got a lot of tropical hardwoods from Hawaii. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do a pretty slick dash idea. Um, later on, figure out what I'm gonna choose for it, but uh, and maybe change out a little, little bit of paneling in here, uh, do a, a wood floor. Um, wouldn't take a whole lot, so why not? Um, but yeah. It's uh, starting to come back together. We've got some more uh, polishing to do on the tanks. Um, the uh, deck on the back here. Uh, going to be painting the uh, stacks. Not the stacks. The rack that holds the stacks. Um, so I got that off right now. And gonna dive into that and then uh that's got a new uh air compressor to change out because that one was leaking in the head somewhere got some soapy water on it and air was coming out of the top um so i'm assuming that it's got a crack in it or something so i bought a new one and i put that on there because i don't want to mess with not having air uh, especially hauling anything heavy um i need the uh heat shield in here and put a new one of those on and then the uh air filter i need to get a new one of those but it only has one clamp so i don't know if i can get some new ones to put on there or if i gotta change out the whole thing or figure out something else but starting to uh come together oh yeah and this is the wheel right here that's cracked uh, where is it I can't see right now. I'm gonna go up. It's cracked right here. Small crack on the outside, but it's going inside the wheel, and this one's off the, the bead, which I'm assuming why it's not holding the bead anymore is that the cracks is releasing the air. Um, so, I'm gonna change out one of these front wheels. Should be on the back, and I get the new front um, wheels and steer tires. That'd be good. So, Anyways, update on the uh, 
windshield is done. Check that off. And I got the horns going on. Next, I'll be uh, putting on some lights and getting my cab lights up there. And then the uh, drop visor. So, yeah, starting to come together. Anyways, I'm going to keep working on this thing. Uh, thanks for uh, checking in on the update on the old pumpkin. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't got a nickname for it yet. So, um, but we'll see. But uh, starting to look like a truck and shining. I'm pretty happy. So, I'm going to stop talking because I'm just rambling now. Uh, but, yeah. I like it. And uh, hopefully she'll be uh, driving here in the next, uh, I don't know, week or two. Be nice to get it out on the road and see how it drives. Thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos.